production of the man behind this beautiful painting. Okay. Uh, my name's Kofi, Kofi Frempong. Most people know me as Kofi's Arts. Um, I am a Ghanaian born, Toronto based visual artist. Um, I don't know where to go from there. <laughs> well, I, I know where to go. Okay. So I was lucky enough to meet an artist that, or do like a quick interview on IG Live this week with Gerda Creates. Okay, Gerda, yeah. So right off the bat, you are now the fifth or sixth artist hailing from the continent. Okay, that's what's up. Some people call it the dark continent. I call it the bright continent mm -hmm. because the talent is just reaching all aspects. So okay. again, I'm going to ask you, I ask everyone, gone on the art scene they're like what is in the water mm -hmm. what's going on with the talent level that seems to be oozing out of that region of mm -hmm. africa well all of africa but you're the second person this week um so talk to me about the talent coming out of africa um i i know there's a lot of talent mm -hmm. uh there's a lot of energy um i know at one point it wasn't when i was younger it wasn't necessarily cool mm -hmm. to be from any part of africa uh, I myself am from Ghana, as you know. Um, so when I was younger, all types of names were given to you know immigrants from um, Africa. Um, but now there seems to be a shift with Afrobeats, um, African fashion, and a whole leap of uh, African artists popping up in all different types of disciplines. Um, I recently discovered the Chaliwate um, Festival. Mm. I'm not too familiar with it, but the little that I've seen, it just seems like it's bubbling with energy. And, and that's in Ghana? Yeah, okay. yeah. Do you know when that happened? Um, I don't remember, but um, yeah, I, do, I don't remember. Okay, we'll look it yeah. up and <laughs> let people know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's crazy. Um, <clears throat> the talent, uh, it's clear that the talent is on par with any region in the world. Mm. And one of the amazing things is that the, the talent is traveling. Yeah. So how, how old were you when you came here? Oh, man, I must have been six. Oh, OK. I moved from uh, Ghana to Montreal, sorry, to, to France. Oh, OK. Lived there for a year and then moved to Montreal for another year and then ended up in Toronto. Okay, so that's e probably a, a easier transition perhaps to go from uh, from France to Montreal, the French connection there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is, the, is French a language that you learn in Ghana in the elementary it, system? Or? Yeah, it is one of the languages that we spoke in Ghana. Um, I know that there's like over 52 languages and dialects in Ghana wow. alone. Wow. Yeah, um, where I'm from, we spoke tree. Okay. Um, I do remember vaguely uh, speaking French in uh, preschool. Okay. Um, but yeah, and even like, you know, uh, the different Frenches, like the French that you speak in Montreal. It's slightly is, different. Yeah. Or maybe it's me, I don't know. Well, I mean, I know in France, they, they say that uh, people from Montreal don't speak real French. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, to me, I, I, I lost both of them, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, really, it's like Japanese to you, both of them. Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that's cool. Mm -hmm. um, well, now that you're here, and the last, or last year was a trying year for a lot of people, mm -hmm. and one thing that I am noticing, though, is the artists seem to have done pretty well uh, through COVID, but how has how have you managed uh, the pandemic? Uh, your yourself personally, your your work, and I guess like how do, how were you able to go through get through it so far? I mean, we're still going. Mm. Through, but. Uh, me personally, business wise, business has been good. Yeah. Um, because I don't I don't just paint. Uh, I draw. I mm -hmm. I work with different mediums. I went into like a long slump where I wasn't painting at all, mm. um, but it wasn't anything that affected me emotionally uh, or mentally. It was one of those, it just felt like a break. Yeah. 
at first it was, you know, uh, a one month break, <laughs> two, three, and then four months later, I'm still not painting. Yeah. Um, but I'm expressing myself in different ways. Like I'm using my platform to connect with people. Um, I'm drawing something that I kind of like straight stayed, ugh, excuse me, straight away from for a while. Yeah. Um, so I was creating. I just wasn't, you know, doing what a lot of people know me to do. Um, my health, that that just. That needs a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> I think all of us yeah. got the, the COVID nineteen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, a good a good twenty five pounds. Yeah, me, me too. That, yeah. That's why I'm behind the camera. I feel I you. Stay behind now. Um, but that, you raise an interesting point, and one of the things that I'm noticing with a lot of the artists is how they're able to pivot. So mm -hmm. you mentioned that you don't only paint, you draw. So mm -hmm. is that something that you're able to? Uh, Monetize? Was that a monetize or was that just for your mental health to like, let me just continue, but maybe not on a, a grand scale like this piece here? Um, like for me, like what I tell a lot of artists that I, I work with mm -hmm. is um, just developing different income streams. Yeah. Uh, so like if you're an artist and you're only going to depend on, you know, money from the pieces that you sell. Um, you could be really good, you know, produce a lot of pieces and sell. That's great. Um, but everything has its season, mm -hmm. you know, and sometimes uh, things are really hot and sometimes they're not. The benefits of creating different income streams is that uh, when one area is hot, you know, another area is cold and it, like there's some kind of balance. Mm -hmm. uh, so between like workshops, between selling prints, uh, different types of prints in between doing like paint parties uh, the list goes on and for me because I've been able to develop these different aspects of my business um, I haven't really taken a hit when it comes to um, you know pivoting in the pandemic yeah, that, that's and, amazing that, that's, that's so good that you had that that's pre-planned like you were preparing for pandemic even not knowing it was yeah, pandemic. yeah. <laughs> That's smart, and it's, it's good that you're telling